Hello everybody, welcome back to Control. So, uh, you may or may not know that whenever I uh, record, I record in batches. So I've recorded about, I think it was four episodes. I think this is the fifth episode. So I recorded all those episodes all in one batch, all, just like all in one sitting, all in the same day. And then, like the next day, NVIDIA drops the freaking announcement of the, uh, the th the 3000 series of cards and one of their big demos and uh, sorry one of the big um one of the big technologies behind the 3000 series is ray tracing which this game makes heavy use of obviously uh, i have it all turned off because my computer currently can't handle it uh that's why episode one was so jank in terms of frame rate because i had it all on but it looked so freaking gorgeous. But the 3000 series is like running this game at full quality, 60 FPS flawlessly, and it looks so freaking good. And now I'm regretting even starting this game because I want to get my hands on one of those 370s or 3000 cards. I don't know which one I'm going to get yet. I want to get my hands on it and I want to play a game just beautiful with it and not have frame drops but like i'm getting frame drops and it looks bad now and i'm just it makes me sad <laughs> and i feel so inferior oh man uh but another thing that i've been hearing a lot of is that i should go and i should actually uh, how do i 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 again how do i get in the menu again that's uh that's grabby um, it's not escape. That's actually the menu menu. I, we hit I, okay. Uh, people wanted me to read the, the things. I have a lot of things to read. So, I don't know. We'll do a, we'll do a couple at a time. We'll do a little bit of gameplay. Then we'll come back and do a couple at a time. Uh, these are all... Oh, this is all, um, his research. God, there's so much. Hotline security log. Bill Everett, custodian. Who's that? I mean, obviously he's a custodian. Director Trench. Do you think the custodians are, uh, using the hotline? The only person you should fail is yourself. His name is Zachariah. Of course it is. <laughs> Nothing against anybody named Zachariah. Tomasi's ID. Urban Legends. Let's see. His agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. These hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. The, they only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or are they cocoons preparing to enter the next stage of evolution? When attacked, hiss agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. Refer to redacted file. There's a... Have I have I really fought this many different his creatures? His guards use the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption. While the armored guards carry pump action shotguns, they have uh they have no observed pre-natural abilities. Did the his target individuals with combat training? Does the his know that level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tasks that are best suited to? Hmm. Read some case files. Must be contained in a cell with no other loose material. The object is an 8 inch diskette containing Soviet area nu nuclear launch codes. When bound, the object allows para, para utilitarians to telekinetically lift material and throw it a short distance. The object is currently bound to redacted for research purposes. Wonder who that was. We, we learned all about this whenever we, we got this. We got the hotline. Object should be inaccessible except for director use. This is the last thing that we got. 
Object is a 1960s era red Bakelite telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs blank. Redacted. Allows the director to communicate with blank. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause a lethal blank. Hmm. Currently bound to Director Trench. Nah, it's below. It's bound to me, brother. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. Hmm. Merry-go-round horse. Fiberglass horse once used as a seat for merry-go-round ride. The pole is still connected to the object. The object is capable of, of moving short distances at high speeds. This can be quite dangerous when redacted its path. Uh, the object is currently bound. I have this one, right? This is what lets me dash? The object attacked an agent? Huh. Okay, service weapon. No unique procedures required. The object's form is variable when bound. The object allows para-utilitarians to, to redact it. Must be bound by individuals seeking the role of probably director. The object will determine whether redacted. <laughs> if rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the redacted, though their criteria is unknown. Uh, the object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The oldest house. What a weird name for a segment of a bureau. The popular hypothesis Redacted, many forms throughout history have redacted. Mjolnir? Excalibur? I don't know what Varanastra is. All weapons that are bound to their wielders, of their wielders. Um, if objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. Very interesting. But summary? Hell yeah. Bureau agents arrived at the home of local celebrity at blank, which had been connected to a total of blank disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in the order, in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house a few days later. Uh, blank days later. I don't want to make any assumptions. Found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the butt uh, Holmes closet <coughs> closet disappeared in this in incident. Havana. Uh, Bureau agents uh, arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been redacted. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for redacted minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off by the embassy and were transported to the continental U.S. Was that the first um, incident of the hiss? Seems like it could. Maybe not the first, but one that's like outside of the purview of this bureau. We'll back out for now. We'll uh, we'll do a little bit of gameplay, then we'll come back later. We need to go find the NSC energy converters. I hear hissing. I hear people. Are we about to be attacked? Don't attack me, brother. I ain't done nothing. I'm just here trying to live my life. The best that I know how. And I got roped into this by a I weird like that sound. I don't like it either, Jesse. Got roped in by a weird janitor. Hello. Got him. Oh. All right. Question! I forgot how to change weapons. I remember how to melee. So that's good. My health is really low. <laughs> how do I change weapons again? 
crap. <laughs> Is it... Nope. That's a crab. Is it Q? It's... No. It's F. F for firearms, brother. Alright. Summoning circle. Let's go. Okay, I've got shotgun out. I need... No, I don't need that. Do, do I, am I at 15k yet? If I'm at 50... Oh, hell yeah. Oh, gosh. It, like, lags whenever I come out of my menu. So here's, here's what we're going to do. Astral constructs. Weapon forms. Constructs. Spin, baby. Insufficient materials. Uh, I guess I have to equip it. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of these. Gripper Shatter. Hold on, what are my missions right now? Shatter Maneuvers. Kill enemies. Alright, so I just need to kill five enemies with Shatter Mode. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. So we're going to keep Shatter for a while. We're going to... Or maybe not a while. Here, let's uh, bring it back out. It's Hopefully run in. You need to fix it before the old big man's inside the plant has a shit fit. Ah. Uh, shit fit. Of course. What are, what are those rooms? That's the second one of those that I've seen. Sectioned off. Not really something that you want to ingest. And it's the energy converters. Look, I knew where I was going. You don't gotta tell me. Got him. Got him. Who's next? You? Trying to pull a pull a classic cod maneuver right there. Hello, are you behind me? Are you in front of me? Where are you? I swear I saw you shooting from behind me. Am I just misreading these bullet trails that badly? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bob and weave. 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 Oh! <gasps> I can do... I can... I can toss bods. Hold on, am I done with this now? Missions. One more? What? I swear I killed five of them. All right. There. I'll do it all at once. And now we change our loadout because I want to use something a little different. I still like to have the grip. Oh, wait a minute. I can just add it straight up. Whoops. What do I want to add here? High rate of fire, best used in controlled bursts. Spin grouping efficiency. You know what? Sure, why not? And I could have made that so much better. Hold on. Let's uh, add something here. Damage boost, 15%. Headshot boost. Heck yeah, brother. What is this? Energy gained from headshots? I don't think I care about that. Hold on. What was this? Health? Reload efficiency, never mind. Yeah, headshot boost. Headshot boost. <laughs> Hold on. Why? Wait. I swear. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's what we want. Oh, this is fun. Shoot them in the penis. Oh, I need to put an energy thing there? Sure. Oh, I opened a gate. Oh, I didn't mean to open a gate. Okay, this is a fun one. I'm glad that I saved up. Got a drop ritual impulse. Got a good old fashioned, uh, RPG mechanics. Good old-fashioned RPG mechanics. 
What are you gonna do? So is there one of these in like every area? Hold on, what am I... This is where we keep all the toilet paper for COVID. Just in giant rolls. Gigantic rolls. They're, they're pre-sawed, okay. Hold on, why did I open this? What was the point of that? I still hear hissing. Hold on, let's see what's in this shelter. This is usually like a treasure cache. Hello. Threshold remnant. Cool. I guess, uh, the only reason for having opened that was for slightly better maneuverability. Hold on. Is there stuff below too? No, that's uh, that looks like a bottomless pit. Serious question, by the way. What's with all of these, like, sci-fi games that create uh, these factories that are filled with bottomless pits? How do they afford that much concrete? Concrete is expensive to pour, expensive to set, and I can imagine creating a wall that is just that deep, that big, in just pure concrete is prohibitively expensive. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care who you are, how much money you have. That's a lot of sand, dude. It's a lot of sand. Let's go lift the lockdown. Let's go lift the lockdown. Indeed. NSC control room back in that direction. I still hear hissing. I'm not I'm not going crazy here. I was hoping I could turn the dialogue up even more. Black Rock Quarry? We're going to World of Warcraft. Is Black Rock Mountain next? Upcoming game reminder. Excuse me. Next game is Wednesday at a usual spot. Hazard owes me 20 bucks. Arish still on a fucking winning streak. Someone please figure out how he's cheating. Thompson suspended for a, for a game because of that shady dealing incident. Guy, I owe you $60. I brought beers last time, so it's Hepstenstalls. Hepstenstall? What a name. What a name. Imagine if your name was Hepstenstall in school. Roll call would have been a nightmare. So I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this was alright. The title, Unless You, could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess, but I thought it was a little vague and stupid. <laughs> the way the characters kept throwing it around almost like a catchphrase got real annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and guns space hippies or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring planets like cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade the city planet and convert the entire population using those brainworms? And that space dogfight between those two ace pilots? Sign me the fuck up. What kind of ruined what kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly his death didn't feel necessary at all everybody's a freaking critic dude that gross blockage down in the water systems is back what is it where does it keep coming from and why the hell does adi keep yelling nonsense at it he acts like it can understand him of course he acts like we can understand him too <laughs> guess that's just his brand of crazy Gonna try out a new drain cleaner, extreme strength. He probably died for that. Um, dinner reservations at Chez Ombre. Chez Amber. Remember, she's turning 46. Why is that underlined? Hey, Bowser, get this. The accounting department still says they haven't received my expense reports. They say the receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift or a threshold or some such fuckery that I don't have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for reimbursement. This is such bullshit. Why do we even use these fucking tubes if they just spit our mail in some other goddamn dimension? Just venting here before I make a formal complaint. Useless pieces of shit. 
Rodriguez. Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day, for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Oh, so Trench is starting to go a little crazy. Due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area's stability has been downgraded to yellow. Green is stable. Yellow is low stability. Unanticipated building shifts. Orange is high likelihood. Red is frequent. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. So they find the lost mail and then they read it and categorize it and do some big data science on it? Just to understand? Okay. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the pre uh, paranatural world. The letters came to us in, uh, from various places and times gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. To all executive staff, there is some concern regarding our operations exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then they will be granted by the U.S. Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in, the, in another spreadsheet that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us as if we're not even here. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms in how we operate. Our being here is no accident. Interesting. The oldest house. It's such a wild name. Travel costs? Such expensive meals. I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state. But hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Raleigh and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. Boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on, on, on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. <laughs> Using current ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to probably figure out about the hiss. <laughs> So, another AWE behind us, and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring uh, redacted and redacted for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. Tomasi out. Uh, Sharkin is redacted, although secure redacted permission to redacted following base. Shark? What? Our four reports are due by the end of the week. <clears throat> Escaped object of power? If anyone sees the merry-go-round horses zipping around the sector. <clears throat> Alright. I don't really want to read anymore, especially right now. What's the hotline do? Oh, is this just a director needs a team? My management team. Oh, it just lets me see all of the um all of the cinematics. Interesting. Okay. Back to gameplay. Heck yeah. NSC control room. I see you over there. Here, let's just throw that at him. I got two for one there. Oh, 
Easy game, easy life, brother. Give me that loot. Alright, this place is like all geometry up. And it's all coming out of the floor this time? I imagine as soon as I clear it, that wall is gonna is gonna clear up. Sector elevator. It's just gonna allow me to go. No, it's in my best interest to uh to fix this. See you later, squares. Idiots. Breaking up, brother. This is what we came here to do. What do you mean this is what we came here to do? Of course, we just cleared we just cleared lockdown. What is that noise? Is that just the control point humming? Man, that can cost thousands of dollars in damage just Instantly. Look at that. Look at that. You think that was cheap? Holding this place hostage. Whoops. Looks like we're... Looks like we're in the black... Or, in the red now. Out of the black. My bad. <laughs> Whoopsie. Where am I going now? Where, where even am I? Okay, so I, I, I think I just... Did I come out of the access corridor? Where did I even come out of? Wait a minute, that was just down there. If I go up the stairs... Hold on, what's in this direction? Don't talk to me. I tried to grab that. I didn't turn around fast enough. Jesse, turn! Look, I got the clearance level. Don't think I don't. Book Club Lopez. Uh, unless you review by Captain Lopez. These days, most uh, young adult novels intertwine the coming-of-age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or tragic romance. Unless you manage to do both. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to a virus called The Fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous uncharted territories. The people all live in walled cities now because of dystopian future. And along the way, they just have to fall in love. I liked how we never got to know if The Fix was ever actually fixed. The ending was bold, especially for young adult. Um, the main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows that this is the end for her, but that the job can still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone and surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the goal. That's a good soldier's death. Spoilers, dude. Give this book a three out of five. Y'all wanted me to read this. <laughs> Y'all wanted reading. Imagine where we'd be if we just read all of those all the time. Am I, am I going the right way? I don't want that. Am I going the right way? And this is taking me to access corridor? I don't want to be in this elevator. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go the direction that I think I'm supposed to go. Let's freaking... Oh. Wait a minute. Why did I need clearance level if I could just go through the glass? <laughs> Alright. Uh... 
Uh, we're going back to ventilation and the janitor's office? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I can't go through there. Oh. Maybe access corridors was correct. Because this is just... You know, it just takes me back to the janitor. Um, maybe, maybe that's correct. I don't know. I guess we'll find out whenever we go down this elevator. See how wrong or right we were. Hold on. I, there's arrows in that room. Oh. No, is this where we... This is where we first entered. Do I get a double jump soon? Will I be able to get up there? Nice fall, idiot. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we're going back this way. This is, um... I believe this is the path that we took on our way in. Yeah. Yeah. When we came this way, we cleared this wall. And we came in here. Ace Red now? Dumb, dumb. Oh, God. Dude, I love how uh, the act of pulling them towards me also damages them as much as a normal throw. That's so, so good. Uh oh. Crushed him. Dude, this thing does so much damage. Like, why should I ever use it over, uh, over the pistol? Uh oh. There we go. That's what we call a twofer. As in two for one. Thought you would understand. Combat in this game is a lot of fun. Now where did I come from? Where do I go? Where's my map? Hold up. Is this where I really need to be? Wasn't I supposed to go to the... Hold on. I think what I did is I messed up. And... Instead of doing what I was supposed to do... I think I just left prematurely. Okay, how do I get out of here? How do I get back to my control point? Yeah, I hear you humming over here. Yeah, let's fast travel down to the NSC control room. All right, a single click is enough. I never used it. Whoops. Hey, the gun is a key now. <laughs> well, so glad I ran around and wasted my time like that. Good stuff. That's it. All right. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. What do you mean, you two? Who are you talking to? 
It's not me. It's not like actually me. Okay, I did finish some of these. Collect reward. <clears throat> I got launch efficiency. Heck yeah, dude. Charge. I don't have charge. Um, kill his guards in the executive specter using spin. Heck yeah, dude. This one gives me an uncommon weapon mod. I'm going to do that one. Kill enemies using headshots. That sounds like fun. All right, we're going to travel back to the central executive location. We're going to have to speak with Emily, but you know what? It's been 35 minutes, probably about 20 minutes worth of actually reading. Just reading. So we're going to come back. They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Bullshit. We've never recorded any distance over five. Bitch, I'm right here. Um... <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're gonna continue this on the next episode. See you there. Bye-bye.